Hello beauties, it's Brittany. I literally just finished filming my update video, what the heck's been going on, am I posting again, all of that jazz. So if you want to see that video, check out the description bar below or the cards right here. I talk kind of long-windedly about what's been happening. <laughs> and I literally didn't even feel like getting up, putting a different shirt on, putting different earrings in, because I just didn't. I just wanted to keep talking to you guys. And I was gonna do that update video while I hauled some goodies that I got while we were on our European vacation, but I got way too into talking and it got pretty deep. So didn't get to any of this stuff, but I would like to still share with you a little tiny haul of the things that I picked up while we were in Europe. I will also be uploading vlogs from that trip to our vlog channel, so that will be listed below. If you forgot it existed, I did too for about two years, uh, but we will be posting on there again, so make sure you are subscribing to that if you're interested. But let's first start with the fact that I got to saw... Let's first start with the fact that I got to see Amy while we were in London. Oh my gosh, it was such a pleasure to see her again. If you have not been following my channel for a long time, since like 2014, uh, my friend Amy makes videos. Her channel link down below. She's amazing. We met through YouTube. She came to stay in Chicago for a little while in 2014, and I got to pop into London and see her for the briefest of moments, but it was so incredible. We had tea at Sketch. I'm rambling. Let's get on. So first place we popped into was Kiko Cosmetics. And Alex and I had actually been to Europe once before in, oh, when we were 20, so eight years ago. And uh, Kiko was a brand that I picked up a few things from at that time. And this was even before like the deep dive into makeup and really remember enjoying the product. So I wanted to stop by and pick up a couple things. Uh, this is the Kiko Nourishing Lip Balm. and. This is not as nourishing as I was anticipating. I thought it was going to be like a lip balm. It has more of a matte finish than I was expecting, but the color is really pretty. It's in O2. Let's just layer. Let's see what that looks like. Horrible mistake or good decision? You tell me. I also picked up a skin tone powder foundation. I got a lip liner too. Where the heck did that lip liner go? The lip liner that I got has made its way into this cup and I fear I'm never going to be able to find it again. But I picked up a lip liner and this powder. <laughs> this is a powder foundation. Uh, went with the lightest shade, I believe, because you know me and my, okay. I have a monitor now, but it's mirrored. So it's very, very confusing for me to hold things up. Uh, this is a <laughs> powder foundation. Also, I'm very out of practice when it comes to this. Oh, look, it matches my skin. It's Casper colored. You know, I had to pick up some Bioderma, which we can get this, I'm pretty sure, on like Amazon and things like that now. But do you remember, guys, when this was like all of the rave here on YouTube where like everybody and their dog was using this to take their makeup off. So picked up a little tiny guy of that. We were also traveling a lot within Europe so I had to keep the liquids and the purchases to like a way minimum because I was not about to pay overage on my bag. Randomly grabbed this bourgeois powder which didn't realize I was grabbing so many powders. To be honest, I wasn't seeing a lot in the drugstore that one we can't get in America now and two that was just like really grabbing my attention enough so to make me want to like take up room in my suitcase. But I did pick up this bourgeois powder. It just seemed like a nice kind of setting powder, very finely milled. I'm looking for a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder, so I'm on the hunt for like very finely milled powders. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions down below. When I saw that Beauty Bakery was in Boots, I lost my mind. I wanted literally everything, but couldn't take up a lot of space, so I made the decision to get these two guys. My lighting is way too overexposed. So I picked up a lip scrub because I smelt it and it literally smells so delicious, I want to eat it. This is in the scent Vanilla, and yeah, literally smells like vanilla. It's just a white lip scrub. It actually seems a lot like something that I could kind of make at home, but that smell though. And then I picked up a gloss. This is in the shade, what shade are you? Um, Holy Cannoli. I just read the shade name, and that's hilarious. 
It is beautiful. The packaging is just like outrageous. You guys know this color and me are like best friends. And the component is kind of like unicorn shaped. It's really fantastic. I love the shade name. It's kind of a white gold with a bunch of shimmer in it. And I love the color. I love so much about it including the scent, but I hate that the applicator is white. Anytime I put it over um, any dark lip color, it stains the uh, tip of the brush, which is very sad, but it smells amazing. You can feel a little bit of the granules, like the sparkles on your lips, which I don't love, but I do really like the color and I like the shine that it gives. I just hate that it stains the tip of the sponge. I have not seen this concealer, so it really intrigued me. This is Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal, and I got the shade 03, surprisingly not 01, and it's massive. It actually smells horrendous. It smells like straight up paint, which is a bit concerning, uh, but you get 13 milliliters, which let's just check like another concealer. Let's look at this Cover FX concealer. This has... Will you not tell me? Okay, that one's not gonna share her secrets. Okay, I'm very confused. This one from Makeup Forever, which is a bigger concealer, has 0.45 ounces. This one that's massive has 0.44 ounces. So there's more in this than there is in this. I'm very confused. I guess that's the case. Is the packaging just like super thick? My brain is blown. Haven't really tested this out all that much to be honest because I'll show you why at the end of the video. Then these two products from Barry M really, really intrigued me and I have been loving these liquid chrome highlighting drops. This is in the shade Beam Me Up and it says that it's vegan. This reminds me so much of the Cover F F FX Enhancer Drops, but they're even better because it doesn't get all cakey around it. It actually kind of like comes out of the squeezy component and the color's amazing. It makes your skin look radiant and glowy and dewy and I've been mixing it in, into my foundation. I've been putting it on the high points of my cheeks. I'm obsessed. This on the other hand, I'm kind of like, eh. Don't even really This one on the other hand, I'm kind of like eh. like I don't even know if it's actually really doing anything for me This is the Barry M pixie skin blurring beauty elixir and I don't feel like it blurs anything if anything it acts more like a Slight moisturizer before my makeup. It's just clear in color. So I think it's kind of supposed to be like the um, Farcelli unicorn essence stuff. They have a blurring one this does not really blur. And then I picked up two nail polishes. I'm actually wearing this one in the shade Blue Jade right now on my pointer finger and my pinky finger. Love Berry M polishes. This is one of the products that Amy and I, that she had sent me when we would do our makeup exchanges and I love the formula. And then I also got a pink lemonade shade, which is just a very pale pink color. And then the last thing that I picked up while I was in, um, where did I get this? Barcelona. I was on the hunt for this. Everybody and their great Aunt Barb talks about this, so I needed to have it in my life. I've heard it's a really good thing to have in your makeup artistry kit as well, and it's just a moisturizer, but apparently it's super amazing. I've actually been using it um, to kind of prep for my makeup on acne because so often I will put concealer on my blemish and it just looks so dry and cakey I hate it. So I'm trying this new technique where I really moisturize the spot before I put concealer on and let me tell you, it's working wonders. Things I wanted to share with you that I did not pick up while we were in Europe. I, of course, like so many of us, was sitting online waiting for the Jeffree Star Shane collaboration to launch. I uh, was one of the many who had the issue of 
the website breaking. I think literally everybody did. And I could not grab the Conspiracy palette the first time. I did do the pre-order, so that will be coming, and I think they said December time. But I did snag a couple things that I wanted to share. First of all, I've been wearing this combo so often, talking about it on my IG stories, and it is Oh My God and Ryland. I wanted literally every color, but I was thinking like what would be two really unique colors to incorporate into my routine? And actually Alex suggested that I get Oh My God, which is such a bright, vibrant pink, like so vibrant. Love it. it smells interesting. And then Ryland is this amazing, like crushed rosy pink. And I thought it was going to be really similar to um, Thirst Trap, which I have, but they're actually pretty different. Thirst Trap has more gold to it, whereas Ryland is definitely more pink. And I love the uh, component, like how it is that kind of like gunmetal gray color and this one also smells the same. I think they're supposed to smell like diet root beer or something like that. I don't drink soda so I don't know but these are so so beautiful. They are loud though so if you are afraid of that then I suggest that you not be afraid of that. Uh, Ryland if your lips are in any way shape or form dry will make them look like absolute garbage. So make sure you're hydrating. And then I got some things that were definitely not in the collection but I've been kind of lusting after for a really long time. The concealer, I picked up the shade C4 which is actually too light for me. I would even go with C5 or C6. So if I, if and when I do repurchase this, it will definitely be a darker shade. Um, my star completely broke off like in, in package, in, in shipment. Let me see if I can. Do you see my star? is broken off. It's actually kind of dangerous because it's quite sharp, um, but I emailed them and they are sending me a new um, lid. So they did make the choice just to send me a lid versus sending a new concealer, which hasn't even shipped yet. And um, I got this maybe, uh, I don't know, two and a half weeks ago. But because of all the craziness with the launch, my new lid hasn't shipped. I mean, I get them not wanting to send me an a whole new concealer because the product inside is fine um, so they would really be losing out on a sale of another concealer if they sent me an entirely new one. I'm just struggling with the idea of once I do get the shipment in, once it ships, um, replacing this one with the new one. Um, I'm going to have to use all the product that I have on here before I put the new one in because I'm not going to want to waste everything that's on my lid. I don't know. Very interesting, but they did get back to me right away and I have a sense that if all of this launch stuff wasn't going on that my lid definitely would have been shipped a lot faster, but just a little side note for y'all. I'm so ride or die for this powder. This is the Jeffree Star Translucent Powder. That's really all it says. Made in the USA. It smells incredible. It sets your skin your foundation so magnificently. I'm like kind of sad that I wasted my money on these powders because now all I want in my life is this and the Charlotte Tilbury powder. It's amazing for setting your concealer under your eyes. It makes everything look seamless, like airbrushed and seamless and so beautiful. So beautiful, I want to buy a couple of the shades and put them in my makeup kit. I do wedding makeup and I feel like this would be a fantastic powder to keep in my kit because it just fills in everything. And then lastly, I picked up the uh, Skin Frost in Sarcophagus. Largest mirror, largest highlighter I've literally ever had. Like, look at this next to my head. It's insane. I have the iPhone 8 Plus and it's so big. Like, what? This is it next to the So Jaded palette from Kathleen Lights. It's an insanely sized highlighter. It is the highlighter that I have on my cheekbones today. It's 
really, really beautiful, but I don't know if it needs to be this large. So those are all of my purchases while I was on the trip, as well as the Jeffree Star and Shane collection. I am definitely trying to not buy as much makeup. I have not bought anything like since these purchases, and I intend to really kind of try to keep on a no buy, even though I'm starting back on my channel and I'm uploading a haul as like my second or third video. I am definitely going to be not doing hauls if at all. Um, I will show you I picked up the Tati palette so I got a pre-order of that which will be in, uh, in December and the Conspiracy palette so I will be featuring those two palettes on my channel but I'm really going to try to not buy as much makeup especially as I did in the past uh, but just because I have such an extensive collection. I want to use what I have and I want to know what kind of video content you guys want to see. I mentioned in that uh, where I've been video that I want to know what you guys want to see content wise since I am a licensed esthetician now I see this whole new door of Video content that we can explore together So let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. I love you so much Thank you for being here with me, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye guys <laughs>